For someone who designs action figure 3D models, having access to a 3D printer is an indispensable part of the workflow. The ability to physically observe what you've created digitally and immediately test it makes the process of trial and error not only more intuitive, but also much faster. But this isn't a 3D printer. This is a CNC router. It can cut through stuff. So how can I use it to make action figures? Let's find out. Hello, 3D Zip Guy here, back with another video. Whether you're new here or a longtime supporter, a huge thanks to all of you for clicking on this video. I truly appreciate it, and I hope I can earn that subscribe and like button click from you today. And speaking of gratitude, I'd like to thank Two Trees for sponsoring this video and sending over the TTC 450 Pro CNC router. This machine comes with a 460 millimeter by 460 millimeter engraving area. And I have to say, it's impressively sturdy and solid. It's capable of cutting through wood, acrylic, aluminum, and a variety of other materials. Links are in the description. Go check it out after the video. But before we dive in, let me introduce you to my assistant for this video. This is the new ZipGuide 2 action figure body. It will serve as the base for more slender characters in the future. While it still needs some work here and there, the main features have been successfully implemented. Right now, he looks a bit rough since he was printed quickly using low quality filament. I plan to make a dedicated video about him eventually, but since we're here, I'll show you some of the key improvements. The biggest change is the hip joints. Since I moved away from the drop-down hips, the range of movement became limited to just this. So, I decided to try a new approach, making the pelvis move up and down, allowing the thigh to move higher. Now, he can tuck his legs more, which helps achieve those dynamic superhero poses. The elbow has also been redesigned, making it easier to pop in and out. I'm also testing this segmented torso, where I split the abdomen in two. This isn't final yet, so things may change before I start implementing it in other characters. All right, we'll get into that in more detail another time. In the meantime, let's make something with this CNC. I'm going to attempt to make a totem staff from Visionaries. For those of you who don't know, Visionaries, Knights of the Magical Light is a classic 80s animated series where chosen knights harness the power of magical totems to transform into or summon mystical creatures. The toy line's main gimmick featured holographic chest plates that changed with the light, revealing each knight's animal spirit. At that time, it was one of the coolest toys to come out of that era. I never had one of these as a kid, so I've really wanted to try making one. Now, the obvious challenge is creating the hologram, but does it really need to be a hologram? I'm going to take a different approach using clear acrylic. To be honest, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but that's what this video is all about, trying out different tools and methods to make toys. The idea here is to hide a light source inside the figure base. Since the staff is made from clear acrylic, the light will shoot up from the bottom refracting and illuminating the carved image. At least, that's the plan. I'm getting really excited. Let's see how he looks with Zip Guy. So far, so good. I think the height is just right. But the real test is whether this thing will even illuminate. I got this cheap wooden LED base, which will serve as our light source. Next, I'm going to block out the rest of the LED strip with these 3D printed inserts ensuring that we only see the light passing through the acrylic. Moment of truth. I can't believe it actually worked. Well, partially at least. Sure, the light could be much brighter, but it has potential. I just need to figure out a way to spread the light more. If you have any suggestions, feel free to leave a comment. I'm just psyched it worked, because I had some doubts. That's why I made a backup plan in case this one flops. Check this out.
know this is quite different from my usual content, but I do enjoy experimenting every now and then. I hope you enjoyed it and found some inspiration. Either way, thanks for watching, and I appreciate two trees for sending their TTC 450 Pro CNC router.